Well, y'all wonder why I'm over here looking at cotton picker. Uh, me and my brother want to plant some cotton next year, and I'm like, <laughs> so, uh, which is not a bad idea. I mean, we haven't planted cotton in a while. It ain't going to be much. It's probably going to be 50 acres of cotton, and that's it. Or 40 acres of cotton. That's all we're going to put on the ground. But I'm just getting a ball pick, ballpark figure of these cheap cotton pickers and uh, just get an old, go old school with it and just get a cotton trailer over there at some of these auctions, just dump and then carry it on to, to the gin. So if I end up getting a cotton picker, I'll just get two regular cotton trailers that'll hold some cotton. But I don't know if they still do that, haul cotton on a cotton trailer. But if I do get a cotton picker, would it be a six row or would it be a four row? I would like to find a two row, a two row cotton picker. That would be the kicker. I would much rather have one of them, but yeah, I, I, I can deal with a six row. I got in this one right here. This one right here. And I started started it up and throwed it in gear and all like that. Let the basket back down, but I ain't thinking about no cotton picker right now. But it's a good thought, but that's not what I'm here for. We're gonna go over here and look at these grain cards. And there's a header trader back there, as y'all can see, that I wanted to ask about. I don't think I'm gonna get one of them tricycle kinds. So let me stop talking, let's tune in. Uh, probably something like that. No, not that one. It's one of these two. That one right there. Well, it's red and it also has green. See, like these round bells right here. See, I don't need nothing like that. Just an old regular cotton picker. Let's go up here to the old lot. Then we're gonna head back to the back to the shop. There go my real disc. I need to see what's the deal with this field wagon right here. Well, there ain't much choice around here, y'all. Cotton pickers. Uh, 65 sitting over here. Yeah, 
you know, some some simple. Uh, don't need all that extra stuff. Well, let's go and get on out of here. The next day. Make that money this morning. Let go. Well, today's lesson is today. Ah, we are finally running barges, y'all. We finally running barges. So I had to jump up, get this money, and then go and haul. So, uh, so anyway, so now I'm getting loaded with wheat right now. I probably can't see what's going on. I'm getting loaded with wheat. I'm getting loaded with wheat right now. They are uh, headed down to the barges. Man, I'm so glad I got that call last night, man. Oh, man. You talking about happy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I got my other driver. Uh, he's already down there. I had woke up late. And my other driver's already down there. And, uh, man. Finally running bars, y'all, man. Yeah, there we go. So I read all y'all's comments from last night. And, uh, man, I appreciate you for understanding, you know, telling me what, what all that other stuff is. And that's awesome, man. That's awesome. And uh, I had a few people on there that was that were being negative, but you know I'm just gonna overlook y'all. So y'all, uh, it's just it's just that wasn't even called for. So, but hey, but I get what you're saying though. But I ain't I ain't even talking about that. So actually, the update on the combine, I already got it. So I already done bought it. So it's coming home be looking for a video of that and uh, um, until then I'm just gonna haul uh, for the rest of this week and then uh, just gonna go out and have fun Think of and think 
in the down in the description down below. Uh, I appreciate y'all for telling me, you know, bits and pieces about the combine. I'm actually, like I said, I'm actually uh, paying attention to what y'all saying. Uh, some people saying don't get it. Some people say get it. And, uh, uh, now, I want to literally get this straight. Now, those of you that ask me what's wrong with my combine, okay, if you look back three or four videos back when I was with Elvis Farm and I was shelling corn, I explained what happened right there, the video and everything. And, uh, and it, showed, it showed when I was broke down in the field. And so what's going on right now is my combine is on the insurance job. So so now the insurance, I already got the claim and everything, so now the insurance has to top the deer. And so they already have the chopper and all the parts except for the rail, the railing. And uh, they got to get the rails and stuff uh, that hold back in. The support rails is what they, I guess is what they call it. That's what holds the top of up. Now, I could, yes, go and get some uh, parts from Worthington to Mag in Sykes, to Missouri. But see, once you're dealing with an insurance company, they're going to want you to put new parts on. So, I mean, that's a bit of a wait right there. And right there, I don't have time for it. So, yes, I could have put that on myself, but uh just by me just by myself i couldn't have done it i mean i could i mean i mean i could do the work but just by myself that's just a waste of time you know what i'm saying so it just ain't no need for me to uh, it, it ain't no need for me to even do that so so it's just like why bother I ain't seen my other truck yet, man. I want to get him on camera. So we're going to the river now. I have, I have not yet been at this river since. Woo! When the last time we been to this river? I think it was last year. Last year, yeah, it was last year. That's the last time we've been to this river. And so now the farming is already begun and everybody's cutting beans and corn still. And we still gotta haul, we still gotta haul wheat out. So uh, like we did yesterday, what well, I did with my other driver, uh, uh, haul, weed out to uh, uh, Houston, Mississippi. So took the truck out there. Old mama done made it out there. That old 95 freight shaker. Oh man, she made it out there. But uh, I'm gonna tell you, I could just imagine how worried I was yesterday. Man, I was literally worried. And they still ain't fixed these potholes. Jesus Christ, man. Y'all look at this. There's potholes for days down through there. Rough ride. And they still ain't even fixed. So, yeah. Uh, so far as the combine right now, I did get it. Uh, it will be... It will be here on the yard uh, by the end of this week. Because they... The reason why... Uh, I haven't gotten it yet because they got to go over it. So let them go over it and then let them do that. And then I hope that when the ground dries, I can just go ahead and go to the field. And just be doing that. That's my truck is right there. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. <laughs> Boy, I got to love it. Got to love it. 
So let me put two hands on the wheel. Let me go down here and uh, I'm gonna vlog a little more when I get a little closer. All that over there used to be in cotton. When I came down here, now they got it all in soybean. Like this one over here. Well, I could just have that land right there, build me a house, a shop, and just farm all that. I mean, just all of it. That's the Mississippi River right there. Pull on the hair. There's a barge down there. Meanwhile. The truck stop. There we go. Diesel somewhere. All right now, y'all, y'all get out of my way. people out when it's, when it's wet because when you load barges that's when the uh, they don't want the grain to get wet so so we have to shut down so right now I have one uh, Max has one so we out here man this is what we do man we haul this is what I'm good at this is what I love this is what I enjoy it's just hauling Y'all be sitting like this, subscribe to that channel now. <laughs> <laughs> 